Hello, hello everybody. How are you going? So, I know this is not a usual night for me. So, Friday nights and Saturday nights are generally the nights that I may put up a pre recorded video or just have a night off. Um, but I'm really keen to try out this can strainer again. But this time with chosen colours. Um, instead of the leftover paints. So I'll just open this up so I can see who's coming in tonight and what we all think about these colours. If I can get that camera in the right position. Um, Alright, so I chose uh, the red, it's Scarlet Lake, this one here. And then I have Crimson. And then I have Crimson plus um, some Ultramarine Deep and a couple of drops of black. Just for that extra depth in colour. So, hello baby cakes, how are you going? So, yeah, I know that many might not expect me to be here because that's what I said, but it's still a little bit of an adjustment going from so many lives every day to um, actually planning some couple of nights off. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're here anyway because how exciting was last night and now I want to try it with these colors so throughout this video may you be inspired learn something new or simply relax while you're watching <clears throat> excuse me how about relax while you're watching <laughs> no you're hanging in there how about me I'm had a yeah I'm hanging in there today, um, but the evening, afternoon got better, so that's for me, and I appreciate you as well. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. So we've got Mum, and we've got Grace and Toby. How are you going? Mwah. So, all right, guys. This is an approximate 13 inch diameter MDF board. It is a placemat from Kmart. And hey, hey, Mandy. How was your day? So, hey, this is a little bit exciting. I'm really keen to try this again. So, something that was suggested to me by mum, you all know her, she's here, <laughs> was, I don't know if this is what she meant, but I'm going to put a really thin layer of white down first. And see how that goes. So just tilting it around now, getting it close to that edge before actually going over it, hopefully. Whoop, like that bit. See, I saw that happening. And that. Work our way around. Okay, so now we'll go off. Deliberately, that is. You can see lots of bubbles in there. That's from shaking the container before I poured it into the cup. I really don't want this layer to be very thick at all. Yep, that's it. Okay. Awesome. Not far to go. Pretty certain it's 
almost over the edge. Da -da 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 -da. Can see that little lip. Have we got it? Yep. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at the comments. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been fighting with alcohol ink tiles. Sets of four and three went right. Oh, and the fourth on each set. Oh, got there in the end. I love your persistence. That's awesome. As usual, I'm awake too late. Took my medicine to help me sleep. Great to relax and watch. Oh, yes, relax your little heart out. And don't worry if you do doze off. I take no offence whatsoever. You do what you need to do. Okay. So, that's all done. You're a little bit... Okay, maybe I just need to lift the camera a bit more. Alright. So, this is a can strainer. You can see, I don't even know which way the can is supposed to sit in this, whether it's on the inside or whether it's on the back side. But either way, when you're not using it for its actual purpose, doesn't matter. No. <laughs> Different party to go to. That's cool. Um, all right. So we cleared away the bubbles and pop this approximately in the middle. And see how some of that white got taken in by those bottom squares? Let's have a closer look because that looks pretty cool. So when we do that final lift, um, there should be some little bits of white in there as well. And I did try and actually push my sleeves up but I feel like they're about to keep falling and that's going to be a little bit frustrating but never mind no stress all right so I'm going to use this cup that had the white in it it's still a little bit in the bottom so that's fine so I think we'll start with the darker red which is the one I created so it's kind of like <clears throat> oh Every time I look up to speak, I get a frog in my throat. Okay, so it's kind of like a dark maroon burgundy kind of colour. So, <laughs> alright. So, um, what goes in first comes out last. So, I want to have fairly decent amount at that point I have some silver so I do want to pour it down the side of the cup because I want it layered and then we'll go into the crimson then the scarlet and then back to my mix, the silver, and then crimson, and then two, if there's going to be any That is one full cup, filled to the brim, just like the bathtub. Okay, right, so, also, that's a very cute strainer, <laughs> I know, right, it's a can one, 
It's, so I just was really keen to try it again after trying it with the leftover paint. So I thought I'd mix some colours that I thought would look amazing and we'll try that. But I'm going to just turn this around because of my table. And we will start with this oh, chocolate block cup. So I'm going to sit down for this. Make sure you're in a good frame. Although, would you like to come down closer to the side? Never heard of a can strainer. I know. Crazy, right? What if we do this? How about that for a view? going to lift that up look at that Ta -da! and move it slightly all right here goes everything cheers So we know that as it gets to the top, that's where it starts flowing out those top holes. And so we're just filling it all up. Whoop, a little bit gloopy there. I think that was the silver. So just trying to, as this drops through, some of this very last bit will be what comes through the bottom of the of the strainer looks a little bit like that right now and it's a little bit of a patience game you can see those ripples happening in the top as it drips through and because it's dripping through and out, it's not um, impeding the flow. So that's good. This is really cool. Yeah, so, excuse my chair. Um, cheers. <laughs> You got Kahlua and Coke. Coke, no sugar. Yep. Awesome. I'm a Jim Beam and no sugar. But sadly, right now, my drink of choice is, what have I got? Pepsi Max. Not sadly, I do enjoy it. All right, so we can see that it's slowly flowing. We can see some silver coming through. Silver in there. Some silver and white in the drips. More silver over here. Let's have a quick look around there before we lift it up. There we go. You can see those little dots in there, that's the drips. So we want to be really patient and allow the drips to happen. So yeah, while I've got you here, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video by giving a thumbs up and leave a comment below about what you think of this one and share it with others who might also appreciate it. Um, there are ways to support creators. Um, there's a PayPal link below if that's 
what you feel. There is super chat while we're in live stream. But the most basic is literally liking, commenting, sharing. So that way other people might see it who will, you know, then again share it with their friends, share it with their friends. It would be amazing. So I appreciate all of it the only time you drink coke oh good for you that's awesome you don't drink alcohol anymore you remember Bailey's and coke ah yeah all right so I don't think that that's going to drip out much more from that top section so now we're just going to see what that beautiful center what that creates when we lift it up and let it drain for a minute. So this is again where I'm going to hmm can't really find a good angle for you because my hand is going to be in the way. I'm going to have to turn it this way so that I'm really sorry about that background noise. Um, that is Ryan, who fully well knows I'm live right now. <laughs> so, okay, let's get this up. I'm going to lift it up and hover in the, the same place as best I can so that those drips continue to land in the same space and create those awesome effects so we're lifting up now a little bit of suction to try and break and hold while that falls through you'll be able to see the little wavy patterns that create in that center so hopefully those couple of blobs that I think were from the silver don't cause any blockages. Sorry, I'm concentrating so hard right now. <laughs> and I'm sort of wobbling and shaking a bit, doing my best. Okay. I can tell I'm off center already because a couple of outside drips have dripped down and they didn't land in the same spot. So, I'm ready to move this off. Are you ready to see what happened? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that was lucky. You have to move so that you don't drip anything onto this. All right, let's have a look before I move it around. So I think I need to use more white, but so far, we do have some of those little flowery drips in the center. So I mustn't have held very long. I like family noise, it's sweet. <laughs> Oh dear, thank you. It's fine, you're beautiful mum, so no worries. Oh, Mandy. You guys are the sweetest. There we go. So I'll give it a quick torch because you can see all those bubbles in there as well. Oh, jeepers. Okay, sorry, I need to have to excuse me for that one. <laughs> That's my filling music. Oh my gosh. I apologize if anybody caught that. I know I did. Um, okay. 
can't think of the name of the flower. The florist always wired them up. Mm. Uh oh, in the doghouse. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a big child, not the little one. Oh, all right. Let's have a look. We'll pick it up. We'll tilt it around. We'll still kind of move back and forth. Let's see. Almost to the edge. I might go on a rotate. Oop, on a rotation back and forth. Okay. Trying to balance on my fingers as well as. Oh, oh. Okay, back this way. And uh, we're almost at the bottom. Oh, that came out pretty evenly. That was pretty cool. So I'll just centre it a little bit and then have a look at the white spots around the edge to tilt off. So we'll go this way. Don't need to go far. Then back this way. There it is. And over. Okay, so the question is now, do I tilt more off to open up the center or do I just leave it with the um, stretched petals? Let's give that a moment. I forgot to torch it, didn't I? Crazy, crazy moments. There we go. Love the fill-in music. That was terrible, right? Da 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 da. <laughs> ah, it's funny. Right before this live, I found this guy on Facebook, tipsy bartender. <clears throat> Got obsessed with watching his videos. Oh, right. That sounds like a little bit of fun there, baby cakes. Um, that flower I'm thinking of might be an aster. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm just thinking that I don't think I've been bought enough flowers in my life to know. So, it was cute. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm uneven in the center so I need to go down that way a little bit I might turn it around so I can see oops got a runaway cup and bring it down this way just let it break over the edge and then bring it back Although, I'm going to go all the way off down there now. Because it's opening up all those top lines. Which have the extra silver and white in. And I think... That is a pretty cool effect. It's like it's blooming and blooming up. Kinda looks 3D. Awesome, Toby. So, 
before we have our close-up I will hi Dina good morning to you um, before we have a close-up I will turn the one light off um, and then hi, hello okay so I've pretty much wiped what I can off my gloves I will torch it because I will remember to this time I think I pretty much got got them so there are <clears throat> a couple of extra little spots in there sorry about that um, so let's turn this off and you might see you can see half <laughs> you can see the difference okay so maybe if we turn this way away from the left hand light hello Cynthia how are you going the best time to torch is when you see bubbles and you want to get rid of them I don't think there is an actual best time um, you could try and torch before you uh, create any effects maybe um, try and torch before tilting which I meant to do and forgot I did mention it but then I forgot to actually do it um yeah so if you lay your paint down pour it out so say after pouring it out then torch it before tilting or swiping or anything like that that would be a suggestion so, okay let's have a look before we sign off so I think what it is, I definitely, I'll be back tomorrow, right? <laughs> Even though I said I wasn't going to, I will be back and I will do another one of these. But I will do it with Protea Australian Native. Oh, well, there you go. Um, we'll do it with a lot more white. So I didn't actually have any white, only the silver in the cup. Um, so make it so that I love those individual drips. Um, make it so that there's white between every layer so that it lightens the colors and can create these little kissy, kissy, these little pattern in the in there so that's awesome all right so thank you so so much everybody for being here i really appreciate it um hope you're having fun grace and toby and there we go back into focus but i really should run before there is any accidental background chatter <laughs> so i'll just check the it reminds me of a marigold pretty thank you you don't seem to get the dreaded freckles does it have something to do with the base coat um i don't know that it has to do anything with the base coat uh, but it's um definitely i only had a very thin base coat so um i don't know i guess it was just luck that there wasn't very many bubbles in the pour in the paints and uh, maybe they'd already popped um so different factors will play on different things so 
you notice the cute little kisses I know that's what I thought they you know that's just what came to mind when I said that so we're going to be doing a bit of painting over the weekend awesome Grace have fun listen to Nana and ring me okay all right Toby's pouring tonight awesome kiddo I look forward to seeing photos and same if you want to give me a call um all right so thank you so so much for being here i really appreciate it even though it was an unexpected pour tonight um so i'll be back tomorrow to try that again with more white and we might go with how about blues tomorrow so all right yeah all right if you have to go anywhere please take care and be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.